Social technology a way of using human, intellectual and digital resources in order to influence social processes. For example, to ease social procedures via social software and social hardware, which might include the use of computers and information technology for governmental procedures, etc. It has historically referred to two meanings, as a term related to social engineering, a meaning that began in the 19th century, and as a description of social software, a meaning that began in the early 21st century. Topic rationale The term «social technology» was first used at the University of Chicago by Albion Woodbury Small and Charles Richmond Henderson around the end of the 19th century. At a seminar in 1898, Small spoke of social technology as being the use of knowledge of the facts and laws of social life to bring about rational social aims. In 1895 Henderson had coined the term «social art» for the methods by which improvements to society are and may be introduced. Social science makes predictions and social art gives directions. In 1901, Henderson published an article titled The Scope of Social Technology, in which he renamed this social art as social technology and described it as a system of conscious and purposeful organization of persons in which every actual, natural social organization finds its true place, and all factors in harmony cooperate to realize an increasing aggregate and better proportions of the health, wealth beauty, knowledge, sociability, and rightness desires. .In 1923, the term social technology was given a wider meaning in the works of Ernest Burgess and Thomas D. Eliot, who defined social technology to include the application, particularly in social work, of techniques developed by psychology and other social sciences. In 1928, Luther Lee Bernard defines applied science as the collection of norms or standards, built up on the basis of observation and experiment and measurement, which is capable of serving as a means to the control of our relationships to our world or universe. He then tries to separate this from social technology saying that social technology also includes administration as well as the determination of the norms which are to be applied in the administration. In 1935 he wrote an article called The Place of Social Sciences in Modern Education. In this article, he writes about the nature of an effective education in the social sciences to reach effective education by the willing masses. It would be of three types, firstly, a description of present conditions and trends in society. Secondly, the teaching of desirable social ends and ideals necessary to correct such social maladjustments as we now have. Thirdly, a system of social technology which, if applied, might be expected to remedy existing maladjustments and realize valid social ends. The aspects of social technology which lags behind are the technologies involved in the less material forms of human welfare. These are the applied sciences of the control of crime, abolition of poverty, the raising of every normal person to economic, political, and personal competency, the art of good government, or city, rural, and national planning. On the other hand, the best developed social technologies, such as advertising, finance, and practical politics, are used in the main for antisocial rather than for proper humanitarian ends. After the Second World War, the term «social technology» continued to be used intermittently, for example by the social psychologist Dorwin Cartwright for techniques developed in the science of group dynamics such as «buzz groups» and role-playing and by Olaf Helmer to refer to the Delphi technique for creating a consensus opinion in a panel of experts More recent examples are human rights and social technology by Rainer Knopf and Tom Flanagan which addresses both human rights and government policies which ensure them and Theodore Kaplow's perverse incentives, the neglect of social technology in the public sector which discusses a wide range of topics, including use of the death penalty to discourage crime and the welfare system to provide for the needy. At the current stage of social technology research, two main directions of usage of this term have emerged, a human-oriented technologies and b artifact-oriented technologies. Social technology structure according to the goal of social technology adaption 
Technologies oriented towards humans Technologies of power Fundamental legal regulations System of signs and symbols Participation technologies Group behavior pattern creation Information transfer mediation Eugenics Individual behavior pattern creation Legal norms Technologies of the self Technologies oriented towards artifacts Social interaction technologies Relation creation and sustainment technologies Cooperation technologies Knowledge development technologies Information aggregation technologies Resource compilation technologies Expertise location technologies Social engineering and social software Closely related to social technology is the term social engineering. Thorstein Veblen used social engineering in 1891, but appeared to take its meaning for granted, suggesting it was used earlier. In the 1930s both social engineering and social technology became associated with the large-scale socio-economic policies of the Soviet Union. The Soviet economist Yevgeny Preobrajunsky wrote a book, Preobrajunsky, E.A. Novaya Ekonomika. Moscow.in which he defined social technology as the science of organized production, organized labor, of organized systems of production relations, where the legality of economic existence is expressed in new forms." p. 55 in the translation of 1963 Karl Popper discusses social technology and social engineering in his book The Open Society and Its Enemies and in the article, The Poverty of Historicism in which he criticized the Soviet political system and the Marxist theory Marxism on which it was based. Eventually he combined, "...the poverty of historicism", series in a book, "...the poverty of historicism", which he wrote, "...in memory of the countless men and women of all creeds or nations or races who fell victim to the fascist and communist belief in inexorable laws of historical destiny." In his book, The Open Society and Its Enemies, Popper distinguished two kinds of social engineering, and the corresponding social technology. Utopian engineering strives to reach, "...an ideal state, using a blueprint of society as a whole, is one which demands a strong centralized rule of a few, and which therefore is likely to lead to a dictatorship." p. 159. Communism is an example of utopian social technology. On the other hand, there is the piecemeal engineer with its corresponding social technology, which adopts, "...the method of searching for, and fighting against, the greatest and most urgent evils of society, rather than searching for, and fighting for, its greatest ultimate good." p. 158. The use of piecemeal social technology is crucial for democratic social reconstruction. Social technology has also been used as a synonym for social software, such as in the book Groundswell, Winning in a World Transformed by Social Technologies, by Charlene Lee and Josh Bernoff. Jennifer Ocker teaches a course on the power of social technology at Stanford Graduate School of Business. Topic Examples Topic Social Networking Service A social networking service is a platform to build social networks or social relations among people who, for example, share interests, activities, backgrounds, or real life connections. Topic: Enterprise social software. 
Of particular interest in the realm of social computing is social software for enterprise. Sometimes referred to as, "...enterprise 2.0." A term derived from Web 2.0, this generally refers to the use of social computing in corporate intranets and in other medium and large-scale business environments. Concerns Social technologies, as they are technologies dealing with social behaviors or interactions, have caused concerns among philosophers. As Vladislav A. Lektorsky pointed out in his journal, "...the Russian philosopher Vyacheslav Stepan calls modern European civilization," technogenic. Quote, Initially, this meant the pursuit of technologies for the control of natural phenomena. Then projects began to be put forward for social technologies for the control of social processes. Based on this concept, impacts that social technology might have for man, like forcible collectivization, or the deportation of ethnic groups are recognized because according to Vladislav, social technology blunts the individual's capacity for critical reflection, though it presents a different possibility which be used to develop man's creative capacities, to expand his realm of freedom and his social and interpersonal ties. Other uses Social technology is also used to refer to the organization and management of private companies, and is sometimes taught under the auspices of university business schools. One book with this orientation is The Social Technology of Organization Development, by Warner and Hornstein. In 1985, Mackenzie published a book titled The Social Shaping of Technology. It showed that technological change is often seen as something that follows its own logic, and introduced about the relation of technology to society and different types of technology are examined, the technology of production, domestic and reproductive technology, and military technology. It moves on to the technologies of the household and biological reproduction, and it also asks what shapes the most frightening technology of all, the technology of weaponry, especially nuclear weapons. In 2011, Liebetsader, Bettina, published his article, A Critical Review on the Concept of Social Technology. He pointed that social technology provides social science knowledge for a purpose. Such a notion allows an in-depth debate about the meaning of social order in modern societies. Social technology forms the basis of governmental decisions, it allows for a use of social theories and methods for a purpose in politics and introduces a specific conception of power between the individual and public powers. Other similar phases. In general, social technology covers many other terms in social science, as some authors use social technique, social pedagogy, administrative technique, technocracy, socio technique, political science engineering, planned society, efficiency engineer, social economic planning. See also Social Technology Social engineering political science Social software Social software Social procedure Social procedure Notes External links Information about Jennifer Ocker's course on social technology